hello in this lecture we'll start creating this inductor so let's start with the symbol first so go to eagle library click on add symbol name inductor okay yes now first we'll place two pins for inductor so click on pin length short display none and direction passive let's see it over here escape now change grid to millimeters and make it 1.27 millimeter now take arc change the width of arc to 0.1524 and draw an arc escape now move this arc here and uh, simply copy and paste this now assign the attributes so click on text greater than name ok don't forget to change layer t name now value ok change layer to value place it Escape and save. Now let's create footprint for inductor. So click on this footprint, give name inductor. Okay, yes. Now to make inductor, we'll follow this data sheet, and this is the recommended layout pattern. And the dimensions which are above they are in mm. So from this pattern, the length of pad will be 5.4 and width of pad will be 2.9. So let's first create pad with length 5.4 and width 2.9. So first take SMD pad, rotate it, place it, escape, change grid to millimeters, double click on pad, give name 1. 5.4 2.9 okay now let's find out the distance between centers of this pad now in this recommended layout pattern it is given the distance from this point of pad to this point of pad is 6.8 and the width of pad is 2.9 so the distance between center of this pad and center of this pad will become 6.8 plus 2.9 which is 9.7 so change grid to 9.7 millimeters okay and copy this pad and place it here now what we'll do we'll place this origin at the center of this footprint so to do that go to grid and make grid half of 9.7 which is 4.85 ok now copy these two pads click on move right click move group and place two pads here so now the origin is at center of this footprint now change grid to 0.5 millimeters and start drawing the outline for this inductor now from here it is clear that inductor is 12.5 millimeter wide and 12.5 millimeter in length also so again go to eagle select line change layer to t place so from here 6.5 and from here 6.5 so go to 6.5 mm up click 6.5 mm at left click 6.5 mm down click 6.5 mm click and click and escape now let's assign the attribute so click on text greater than name ok change layer to t names escape now value ok 
change name to t value skip and move this and save it now click on device give name inductor okay yes and first click on add part select inductor okay place it escape now to place footprint click on new add local package and select inductor now connect them click here on connect first pin to first pad second pin to second pad ok and save it and don't forget to do this click to library click on create new version click on create Now let's download and assign a 3D model to this inductor. So go to 3D Content Central and search for this SRR 1206 inductor. And download this first one. Click on download. Right click show in folder. Unzip it. Copy this step file and paste it on desktop. Rename it with inductor. Now go to Eagle. Right click on inductor, use 3D package inductor, remove this existing 3D model, click on upload. And select the 3D model. Now this 3D model is not aligned with our footprint, so I will change its X angle to 90 degree and Y angle to 90 degree. Now it is perfectly aligned, so just click on OK and OK. Now go to library, create new version, yes create so that's it for this lecture i will see you in the next lecture thank you